Kristen, wilt thou have this man to be thy husband? I will. Wilt thou, Jefferson, have this woman to be thy wedded wife? Wilt thou provide her with credit cards and a four-bedroom, two-and-one-half bath home? Wilt thou listen patiently to long stories about kids' colds, kitchen tile, clothes, shoes, make a pair of sore feet, and decorate her six foot covers? I will. I pronounce that Kristen and Jefferson are husband and wife. In every married life, there are certain key phrases that ignite the imagination. What's for dinner tonight, sweetheart? You don't like fish? I love fish. It's just a little overwhelming to have a uh, grouper. Here. It's grouper. What are you going to do with your life? The question is, what can I do? You have a BA in mass languages. What was your minor? Elizabethan poetry. Let's not fight. You're not sleeping in this bed. Oh, really? Anywhere but in this room or in this bed. So what do you want me to do, huh? Tell me, tell me, tell me. My parents are coming over this evening. This is good, Jake. You're quite a barbecue chef. What is this? What is this dirt on here? If I tell you something, will you promise not to get mad? Okay, I promise I won't get mad. I stopped taking the pill. Kevin Bacon, Elizabeth McGovern, in a new film by John Hughes. It's been 48 hours since our last coalition. My temperature's optimum. I'm ovulating. I have the pillow set up in the position. You can watch TV if you get bored. Here's to successful fertilization. She's having a baby. Five years ago, my parents were the most popular teenagers in America. It's true. My dad was a teen idol. Venus, God, it's love that you are. Girls threw themselves at him. Unfortunately, this was 1962, and he had to throw them back. When dad wasn't singing, he spent his life on a surfboard. They called him the Big Kahuna. When I was born, Dad wanted to call me Little Kahuna. Luckily, he settled for Bobby. As for Mom, she joined that strange cult called the Mouseketeers. Beauty is as beauty does. That's what wise men say. Now, if you would be beautiful, do this every day. Hi, Mom. Here? Always make your I'm a net. Neat for neatness really pays. You'd she became the first pinup queen for boys under 12. Straight A's. Anyhow, they got married and moved to Ohio right after the accident. Don't get them started on the surf accident. Around our house, we have this nightly ritual. It's called dinner and then the accident story. Let me spare you this. 20 years ago while surfing, this humongous wave knocked the kahuna right out of dad, and he's never been the same since. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. The hair. Did you wet the hair? Don't wet the hair, please. Try to get the water here, okay? Jamie, is my hair okay? Good, okay. Oh, okay. Hi, you need a car? This is my dad right, now. Need a deal? Yeah, the closest he gets to the ocean car. these days is when he plays the surf king in order to sell cars on TV. So you, your next car, but you know what? Yep, <laughs> the big kahuna now owns Friendly Ford. Alan! The largest dealership in Ohio. It's going. It's well, it's it means he worries a lot, works longer hours than a coal miner, 
It can be pretty grouchy sometimes. Fleischman, Fleischman, massage this baby and make her look pretty like the rest. What's the matter with you guys? It's not that he's a creep or anything. I think Dad just forgot how to have fun. This is our house in Ohio, and this is my mom now. She's still the most cheerful person on Earth, although she did develop this one little quirk. Bobby, come get your lunch. As for me, I developed a serious identity crisis and was at the breaking point. I couldn't live like this anymore. One day I cracked. It was time to confront Mom with her problem. I'm afraid. You're afraid of lunch? Pavi, no one's afraid of lunch. I am, because I know exactly, unfailingly, and with an absolute certainty what's in there. It's been in there every day of my life. It's peanut butter, isn't it, Mom? Isn't it? Well, you know, I believe it is. What do you mean? I believe it is. Of course it is. You know there's peanut butter in there. It's like a sick kind of fixation with you. Well, it's good for you. You need it. No, Ma. You need oxygen. I don't know how to break this to you, but peanut butter is not one of the elements essential to human life. 